All right, how's it going? So over the last few months, I've gotten a lot of comments asking how you install mods on Battlefront 2, and honestly, it's probably a lot easier than you'd think. So I'm gonna show you how to install sort of like the basic mod, uh, which is a map or a map pack. But if you understand how to install these, you, you will find installing stuff like side mods easy. Um, it's more or less the same thing. You might just have to make backups of uh, vanilla folders, um, but it, it basically ends up being more or less the same thing in the end. So the first step is to download an archiving program if you don't already have one. You're gonna need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I happen to use WinRAR. Um, there's really no reason to pick one over the other. This is the page where I got my copy. I'll leave a link to this page down in the description. Uh, there's tons of different languages to choose from, so pick the one that best suits you. Uh, 7-Zip works just as well. They both do the same thing in the end, so pick whatever one you want, really. So the second step is to download the unofficial 1.3 patch. All you'll do, click that download button, and then run the program. It has zone install wizard and everything, uh, so you can't really screw that up. One thing I would recommend is, there's a couple options you can disable or enable. I, I'd recommend disabling the HUD that comes with this. It's quite obnoxious and takes up a lot of the screen. Um, I'm not a fan, and I know a lot of people don't like it as well. I know a lot of people disable it, so I'd recommend doing that. Uh, this is also not a step that you can skip. You need this in order to play pretty much every mod. Uh, there's very few that don't need this to actually run. I think some graphics mods probably don't need it, but uh, that's pretty much it. Almost every mod uses this, so this is a uh, really important step. So the third step is to actually find a mod. So head to ModDB, that's where most of the mods are nowadays. Take a look around the mods page, the add-ons page. There's tons of mods to choose from at the moment. Find something cool, find something you like. Click that download button here. Um, if you do go through the mods menu, you will probably have to click, um, there will be like a files thing up top here somewhere at the mod page that will then bring you to sort of like a page that looks like this for downloads. Um, if you click a mod directly from the add-ons, it'll probably just bring you right here in most cases. Either way, find that download button and click it. So once you've downloaded your mod, go to your downloads folder, find your mod. I have all my mods in a folder on my desktop, so I am not in my downloads folder. Uh, I've tried to organize these, but they are still a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to install a mod by using um, Mavrichel's Battle of Endor mod, um, just because it's a pretty typical map mod. So double click it, open it up, you'll get the screen. You'll probably get a little window like this or a bigger one saying that you're gonna have to buy a WinRAR. You don't, just uh, exit out of that. It will work just fine uh, without buying it. So you'll have a Battle of Endor folder here. Um, for the, In my case, we're gonna have to do this a little weird. Let's double click that. Then we have the actual um, dot .zip folder here. Double click that. It'll open WinRAR again. You probably won't have to do that if you download something from ModDB. Um, I just didn't happen to download this file from ModDB. I got it from Mediafire. Um, I think that's why it's a little weird. Um, but either way, you'll probably just go through um, sort of that first screen and then it'll bring you here, but without opening a new window, if that is. And this is the file we're after, but we also have a readme text. So most mods will actually come with a readme text. So if you open that up, um, Mad Virtual always has a great um, description of his mods. And then we also have installation, instruct installation instructions here. And this is basically exactly what we're, go we're gonna be doing right here. We're gonna be moving that SEN folder into our add-on folder. So we'll have to find this folder right here in, uh, in our directory. So now we'll go ahead and close this. And now we have to find our add-on folder so we can drag this SDN folder over there. So we'll wanna head to our files, um, pick whatever drive that you have Battlefront 2 installed on. In my case, it's installed on my D drive. Uh, if you're unsure, uh, just check within Steam. You can find out there. So you'll wanna click that drive, go to Steam library, Steam Apps, Common, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Game Data, and then this add-on folder right here is what we're looking for. If you do not have an add-on folder, no big deal. Just create an add-on folder and it will work the same way. Some people will not have it for whatever reason. It's kind of weird. Not a big deal though. So now all we have to do, I'm just gonna drag this over really quick. Makes a bit, make a bit more room. 
So now we just have to go into our add-on folder. You can see I have a bit, a uh, bunch of mods already installed here. Now we just, all we have to do is drag this SEN folder over to this folder. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now you just have to open up your game and basically play. So we'll go ahead and do that. Wait for it to load up. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, this text up here, in case you are wondering, is from a graphics mod I have installed. So everything might look a little weird. To activate it, I have to spam F11 on the keyboard, which is um, would make a bit of noise, so I'm not really going to do that right now. So we'll go down, find the mod that we just installed. In this case, it's Space Endor. Add the map, launch it, make sure everything's working fine. And there we go. We have a mod installed. And it's beautiful. I'd recommend this mod to start off, by the way. It's actually really fun. It's a really good space battle. Anyways, I hope this helped. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you understand how to do this, you'll understand how to do more complicated side mods. And I mean, they're really not more complicated in the first place. Like, you'll probably have to make copies of some folders and that's the only complicated part about it, which is actually pretty easy. But anyways, hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.